Mm. I'm hungry. Whoa. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot where I was. Disney Springs. A very good place to be when you're hungry. Hello everybody, and welcome to the latest episode of Vincent Vision. We are here at the wonderful Disney Springs on a very, very special occasion. You know, there's always cool things happening here at Disney Springs, always something new happening. As of yesterday, a brand new dining establishment opened up and I am particularly excited to check this new place out because I think this brand new dining establishment has the potential to take Disney Springs into Flavor Town. I am talking about the brand new restaurant here at Disney Springs owned by Guy Fieri, Chicken Guy. All right, I know I'm laughing, um, but I'm actually pretty excited to try this place out. It's supposed to be super affordable, super cool. It's got fried chicken. Who don't love fried chicken? And it's got a whole ton of hot sauces, which trust me, I'm a big, big hot sauce man. Of course, we're also gonna hang around Disney Springs too. Disney Springs is awesome. Tons of fun. There's some cool sights and sounds. They're really one of the best places to just hang out here in Orlando. So we're definitely going to spend some time here as well. But I am very, very hungry and I have got some business with Mr. Guy Fieri. So let's get this started. Welcome, my friends, to the Flavor Town episode of Vincent Vision. First things first, this is the place right here. And this is currently the line. The line's indoors as well. <laughs> but this is the outdoor sort of extended queue. And the second I stepped out, I've lost my place in line. So let's go ahead and get back in it. Yeah, there's a pretty long line right now, but that's okay. It's the new thing. I get it. At least I'm not waiting in line for a brand new ride. But they were nice enough to give you this little wristband here while you're waiting in line. I am chicken guy or the boss of sauce, either or. I'm also wearing a raincoat because I thought it was gonna rain. Now I know it's clearly not the case. So I'm hoping we get inside soon. Almost there. Oh, we have made it inside. Welcome to Flavor Town. And also welcome to the rest of the line. This is the sauce menu. We got guys' favorites, the classics, and the hot and spicy. I don't care about these, we can wipe these off the board. I. I'm a hot sauce man, so I am gonna try the hottest sauce they got here. I don't know how it works, the last one of them, but I think it's this one. It looks very spicy. It's got devil horns. Okay, so just got seated here at Chicken Guy. I'm sitting by the iconic Chicken Guy sign. I got a regular combo, three tenders, fries, drink, 11 bucks, not bad. Pretty standard fare here at Disney Springs. You can get them on their own separately and they're like $5 or $3 or something like that. So that's a pretty cool deal. I got their hottest sauce, the habanero hot sauce, and their second hottest, Perry Perry. It was very, very close. Not the hottest, but second place, that's good enough. I do want to try some more sauces though. I want to try some of their other sauces. So I'm waiting for a very particular person to arrive to help me out with that. Ladies and gentlemen, the sauce slinger. <laughs> What you I, got there? I got you actually buffalo. Buffalo? Creamy buffalo, it's fantastic. Okay, okay. He's under his sweet and spicy um, category because he's got three genres. Ooh, I do like sweet and spicy. And I actually got you wasabi honey. Wasabi? Wasabi honey is a honey-based sauce. It has lemon and then wasabi, so it does have that Japanese kick to it. Japanese but kick. But because of the honey, it complements and it mixes very, very well. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely. A brave Enjoy. sauce slinger. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> you know, if this vlog thing doesn't work out, I think I might just become a sauce slinger. That is a pretty cool job. We got our tender, our chicken tender. Break a little piece off of that. We're gonna go jump straight into it. Try the hottest sauce. Does chicken guy hold up? Or are we taking a train ticket from Flavor Town back to Blaze Pizza? Let's find out. Okay. Chicken tender is pretty good, but I'm not kidding when I say I'm a big hot sauce man. I'm a hot sauce guy. You ever watch Hot Ones on YouTube? I used to watch that all the time. It became me, got me obsessed with hot sauces. Hottest sauce, not very hot. Has a kick, but not very hot. Perry Perry. Not that spicy. It's good, they all taste great. 
but not like like Mad Dog 357 hot or like super, super, super hot, but still very good. A pretty good price for what you get. The chicken tenders are nice and juicy and crispy all at the same time. You only get to pick two sauces when you order, but when the sauce slinger shows up, you end up with a bunch of more sauces here. Woo! Yeah, it was pretty good. But I'm glad I did it when I did though, because the line is now a lot longer than it was when I was originally just right over there. Overall, chicken guy, Guy Fieri, welcome to Disney Springs. Very, very cool stuff. People will definitely be able to take a train to Flavortown. Now the chicken guy is here, but man, I'm really disappointed about that hot sauce. It wasn't hot at all. Like, I seriously, I wanted to kick my butt. I wanted to, ah, you know, my tongue. I wanted my tongue to burn off, but I don't know. I guess I just gotta bring my own hot sauce. You know what? Yelling about all this hot sauce, it's gotten me very, very sweaty and the sun is setting. It's at its strongest point and I'm wearing a raincoat in the middle of Disney Springs. I need to find a place to wash my face. Ooh. I was gonna go wash my face very sensually at Basin, but they're under construction. They got a little thing covering up the sink where you would normally be able to wash your hands and face for free. So I had to make do with a public restroom. But that's okay though, because I made it work. I'm properly refreshed and properly cleaned by my handsome self again. And to sort of commemorate that, I'm gonna treat myself to a lovely little photo shoot here at Disney Springs. But wait, there's more. Guys, I am so sorry. If I had known that this video was gonna become the sexiest Vincent Vision ever, I would have warned you guys. But hey, that kind of worked out. I normally went to do just the little regular photos with the background, but then they opened up the corral with the seat and the podium for me. That area there is next to the Marketplace Co-op. If you have an annual pass that comes with free photos, you can get free fun prom type photos here at Disney Springs and uh, I hope I showed you a pretty pretty good collection of them because I was there for probably like 20 minutes taking pictures. <laughs> What a pretty good day. What a quick, fun little ditty here at Disney Springs. One of my favorite things about living here in Orlando is the fact that I am so close to Disney Springs that I can really visit and just hang out, walk around, do my thing, because that's what this place is best for. This is a place to just walk around, relax, take it easy, and just enjoy free Disney. But before I leave, there's one more thing I need to do here at Disney Springs. Rather, there's one more thing I need to see before I leave. Because if I don't see this before I leave Disney Springs today, how could you call it a true Disney experience? That one thing that defines a true Disney Springs experience is this gentleman right here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Ferrari. Look at him go. His dance moves. So powerful. So magnificent. It almost makes me want to join him. But maybe another time. Tonight is not my night. But in the meantime, thank you all for watching Vincent Vision. Mwah! Please like, subscribe, tell your friends, all that good stuff. Visit Disney Springs. Check out Guy Fieri's Chicken Restaurant. You'll love it. Take some seductive photos at the Disney Photo Pass booth at Disney Springs. You won't regret that either. You know? I think it's very, very important to not live life with any regrets and have fun. And Disney Springs is a great place to do that. Thank you for watching Vincent Vision, and I'll see you around. Ah, oh, what the hell? Why not?